All right, so here with Coach JR. Coach JR is gonna give us uh, three exercises that need to be included in any MMA fighters programming to build speed and explosiveness. So I'm intrigued by this as I'm trying to up my game and those attributes on the mat. So we're gonna kick it off to him to give us a demonstration, what to do, what not to do, sets, reps, all the goodies. So what do we got, my man? Give us the lowdown. So we have Lyman over here doing, um, just really just a med ball punch out to the wall. So I'm gonna have Lyman do it the incorrect way, which basically no foot movement. So just all up the body. So this is the way you don't want to do it. You hear it off the wall, not a lot of power. So this is the correct way to do it. He's going to pivot his back foot and explode and punch out. So obviously Lyman has a lot of knockout power, all right? But it's coming from his legs and his core and that rotation. Good. So you're going to do three sets, eight per side and you do want to work both sides, all right? You don't want to just stay on your strong side because that could change real quick in a fight. Have you ever knocked anybody out? A bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what do we got over here? All right, so Hurricane Shane is going to do just our, one of our favorite moves, just a straight up med ball slam straight down the gut, all right? It is a core dominant move and there is a hip hinge involved, so you don't want to do it just throwing the ball straight down. So demonstrate the wrong way first. That's the lazy man's way, all right? The athletic, explosive fighter way. Over the top, hip, hip, back, big breath out. And again, you can hear the power. A big part of that and a huge part of training and training like a fighter is your breathing. So the way he was breathing, <coughs> explode it down. And then Ryan is going to demonstrate just a med ball shuffle pass off the wall. We're gonna alternate sides here, all right? And the big thing with this is footwork. So the wrong way to do it, really no feet. Just, all right, kind of lazy, not much to it. This happens a lot when guys get tired after conditioning. So the quick feet, quick way, Ryan's gonna demonstrate it, pop and explode. Quick feet and you're moving, all right? Now with that, we can incorporate sprawl, right? There's other things you can incorporate, but really the footwork is super important. You want quick feet when you're fighting. Do you like doing a lot of rotational work uh, with fighters? I do. Uh, I think it's obviously super important for their sport. We'll incorporate some um, landmine stuff with rotation, but I really do like sticking to med balls, especially when we get closer to fights, just because it's easier on the joints and it's quick station-wise. And then in terms of programming, how many times a week would you incorporate something like this uh, throughout the week frequency-wise in programming? That's a good question. I mean, honestly, when it, when it comes to like fight camp, we're doing probably two to three days worth of this just to throw into their um, conditioning circuits because we're not doing a lot of weight training. When it's not fight camp, we might do one or two days out of the three or four that we're training, and we'll have a strength emphasis day as well. Oh, yeah. So you guys have it short, sweet, to the point. Definitely try to incorporate these exercises into your training. I'm gonna do it more with my programming, but we lay down variations. We have sets and reps, why we do it. Uh, so you guys throw it in, all right? Until then, stay a Leaming Strike Machine. Thanks guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Check them out on the Instagram. Handles down below.